I started at Learn to Skate classes just as something different to do and I started doing private lessons and some competitions and then I just rose up to different competitions, higher levels and now I'm competing at Worlds. I've competed at Worlds since 2007 and I've competed at national championships since 2003. When I was very young, I started working with Jason Sutcliffe as my coach. I was maybe eight or nine years old at the time. Um, I guess at that point in time, we also had the two Bryant sisters, Tammy and Amanda, and I used to love sitting there watching them. I had like video after video. Um, and then when I first met Jason, he showed me some other videos of like the Italian girls and you know other countries and what they were doing and like amazing, they were a big gap from us and all I ever wanted to do was be like that. So, you know, I mean, I guess it's hard when you don't have the competition right here, but if you have a passion for something and you see it and it's like awesome, that's where I want to get to, well, you do what you got to do to get there. I started with ballet and my friend who did ballet um, used to skate at the concerts. And yeah, I just went from there, watched her skate, used to watch for hours and hours and hours. And then her mum taught me, and then I moved on into competitive artistic roller skating. Well, I also coach, so I'm on skate seven days. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go to training, I'll coach for a little bit, train for a little bit, six days a week, have lessons every day that I'm down there. I have my technical coach here, which is Jason. We do all my choreography, my jumping, all that kind of stuff. And then I have a few people that I work with outside of the rink, you know, cardio kind of work, fitness, um, strength. Um, work on that, probably 80% of my training regime actually involves around that support network as opposed to what goes on on the rink. I think at the end of the day, putting all that stuff together and just having people there, you know, being involved in it is kind of what gets you through it. Inline skates are in artistic competition are really recent. They were only brought into Worlds in the last 10 years. And so I started on quads and I competed on quads. And then I transferred over to inline and I skated on both skates into events. And then I moved into just inline because I enjoyed it much more. I started on quads because that's all there were when I first started. And I've just loved it from there. Um, I have tried inline but it wasn't for me. I wasn't comfortable, so I went straight to quads and I stayed on quads. You have two marks. So one is your presentation and how you put yourself on the floor. The second one is how well you deliver it. You want a package deal, so you want to be as hard as you can, but as easy and as comfortable as you can at the same time. If you go to a World Championships and watch the competition there, you can see the, the level improved so much and like the bar is raised by like the junior skaters and the elements and the jumps they're doing are just bigger and better each year. Particularly with ice skating you sort of see costuming and choreography and things that are like years old like you know the 80s and the 90s and you know young people of today are not really going to identify with that and I think you know in Australia across roller and ice we are very small sports and I think that's part of the consideration that needs to be brought forward to try and build things up because you know I guess we're trying to get that link between here's what we do from a technical perspective but tie it through to something that's you know common for today's young people.